guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and we have a new teaser here. Shero Snow Honey, obviously she is Hydro. Um, I'm good, just gonna confirm this. She is an SSR tank. Um, but my question is, is she a must pull? We'll be discussing it in a while. So let's go over um, a couple of data. Uh, oops. There you go. So this is the data that I was referring to. Okay, so we have here um, Sheru as a three-star Hydro Cutie Guardian whose unique deflection. She she is she is def when, when we say deflection, there, there there are actually no 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 skills here in this tier list. This what this tier list was a tier list for the beta test. I remember Shiro um, deflection. So take note if she has deflection, it will bounce off her and actually hit um, probably damage dissipation, probably part damage reduction. Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't able to get her, but definitely as confirmed, she is going to be an SSR tank with hydro element. So. What is actually the implication that we will be getting Shiro? I just hope that they give us time to save for these banners so that we could, uh, you know, pull for Shiro. But at this point, we don't have much Hydro uh, players uh, that we have, or not players, Hydro units. So um, the most significant is going to be Basil, which is a Hoplite. Next one is Liv, which is a caster. We don't have a... Um, we have a healer. We have Celia as a healer. But we don't usually use Celia. So the only thing that she's going to, to have an implication on is on encroaching cold build. So with that, there are a couple of builds already that I'm thinking involving Isa, involving Basil, and involving Liv. At some point so we might have uh, a new encroaching cold team soon as we have her but my question is is she must pull at this point I'm gonna say no because I feel that um, encroaching cold if you want to build this team you're gonna need a healer better than Celia so that is actually my thought you're just going to need somebody better if it's going to be a pure encroaching cold team. So this team is, even if with uh, with her, with Sheru, this lacks one element, which is healing. You have here a caster, you have here a hoplite. Then she is a guardian. Definitely you will need an aduatrix, a more, you know, more solid aduatrix than Celia. So you have Isa here again. You have... Uh, you have a caster. No, no, no. Sorry. Um, Liv is an Aduit trick. So Liv can provide healing. But um, she kind of lacks that bulk of healing. So uh, I wouldn't rely on her for for a lot of healing. Partly partial healing. But uh, sorry, just going to redo what I said. So we have Liv as an Aduit trick. We have Basil here. And actually, Black is also good. So you have, uh, at this point, you have a complete team. You have a caster here. Um, Isa, even though she's an R-rated uh, hero, she is going to be good. So that is my, uh, those are my thoughts. So again, they're a bit complete. Um, just want to, you know, if you want to supplement healing, you can always pull in other healers and other elements. But if you want to go with a pure encroaching cold team, you can do it actually, but you just have to live with Liv, who is a partial healer, not a full healer. She has a lot of support skills, but she isn't really your, you know, your your go-to healer at this point. Probably your healer at at this time. But again, you would have Sheru, Basel probably right beside. You could have Black at the back, and you could have Liv at the back as well. You can have Isa if you, you know, um, Isa is going to be your, you know, your your manipulator in terms of formation, drawing them in the middle, then pouncing on them 
um, this is going to be, you know, this is going to be more of a manual play than your auto play. So, again, if um, do you think that uh, Sheru is going to be needed at this point? If is she a must pull, not as not at this point. I think um, encroaching cold needs more um, units. But again, same situation with Nunu. Uh, with Nunu as well, we don't have a lot of um, animo units. But again, she is actually helpful even if she is not in a pure um, animo team. I think as well with Sheru, I think she would work well, not necessarily as with a pure Hydro team, but she can work with other teams as well. We just have to see her kit um, and probably review it once it comes along. So hopefully we could have a peek by next week on how she is built and probably review her kit again if, if I think that she is worth your pull. But at this point, first glance, with Gildan, with uh, you also have Gildan, you have Caesar, and a lot of serviceable you know, guardians that mix and match with other elements. I don't think she's a must pull at this point, but she will be key in you creating that encroaching cold uh, lineup. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much. So again, put your comment in the comment section below and let's discuss. How is Shiro and uh, would you pull for Shiro based on that information or would you need more information? So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.